Hi folks, I'm back again. In this video, I'm going to show all your affiliates out there how to track your affiliate commissions very easily with Shorty. It involves just creating a tracking link. You don't even need to create goals to track affiliate commissions, okay? The way it works is so beautiful, it's so simple. You wonder why more people are not already doing this, okay? And it works with every single or almost every uh, type of affiliate network out there even the, the notoriously outdated ones like uh, Clickbank okay uh, Clickbank uh, the, the newer affiliate networks have so many ways for you to track uh, your commissions and sales via third-party tools like Shorty the older ones like Clickbank only have one way but that way is more than enough so what you need to do is go to links okay and as usual, you would create a new link. All right, so this is the affiliate product. Okay, you need to give it a destination URL. Put your full affiliate link here, which can look something like, you know, something like this. F underscore ID equals to, you know, something like that. Oops, let me correct it. Okay, something like that. Uh, tracking link again, you can customize this. No, it, do, it doesn't really matter. Okay, for the purpose of this video, all we're concerned here is the option for affiliate sub ID tracking. Now, all you need to do is turn it on and then select the sub ID format. And this is why I say this works with almost affiliate, almost every affiliate network out there today because. Uh, almost every affiliate network out there today allows you to pass a single string of of uh, data, which which normally is uh, alphabets and numbers, is alphanumerical data, uh, using their own format. And in most cases, this data will be useless uh, because you're not going to specify a, a, a sub ID or a tracking link manually for every single click, right? What you want to know is more than that. Uh, so in normal situations, you most people would not use the sub ID because it doesn't really serve a, you know, any purpose. But with Shorty, we have our own click ID and this click ID is very, very powerful. Every single click that you get in Shorty generates a click ID and we are capable of passing that click ID on to your affiliate network. All right, let's get back to this. All you have to do here is know which sub ID format to use. We have several uh, pre-configured sub ID formats. So, you know, for ClickBank, it's going to be TID. Uh, for JVZoo, it's going to also be TID. For share sale, it's going to be F-Track. I'm not sure, you know, let, let's just do the easy way, okay? If you're not sure which sub ID tag to use, refer to this chart. Click on that chart and here you have the most popular affiliate networks with the correct sub id format so let's say um i am promoting a affiliate product from jvzoo so what i need to do is select tid as the format and then i will click create link okay it's create link has been created tid format okay so now what happens when i click on this link okay oops let me first modify that because I put in a fake name here. Okay. Let me put uh, our own website. Okay. Cradle.com. And let me save changes. Okay. Let's go back to the affiliate product link here. Let's test it by clicking on the tracking link. Okay, so, you know, um, now we are at the Cradle site. Uh, this is the example affiliate link, and this is the part that is automatically added, okay, uh, to your TID. And since JVZoo, this JVZoo program itself recognizes this uh, as, as a tracking ID, 
then this value here will automatically show up in your commission reports in JVZoo. And this is unique for every click. So you're not passing the same old data for every single click, okay? Every TID you pass for every single click will be different. And that will help us to match the conversion that you get your affiliate commissions down to the, the most detailed aspect uh, of how this conversion happened. Okay, we can tell you the country, the referring uh, URLs, the uh, everything, everything you want to know. In case there's any doubt, let me click that again. Okay, so this is a new click. And what you will see is that the TID now is dynamic. So now it's TID equals to 21. All right, so how does that work? Uh, how does that, how, how do you get back the data? But before that, let me say something here is that uh, if the affiliate network that you want to promote is not in this chart, then you can contact us and we will do our best to include it, okay? Most probably, you know, we don't list it here, but you know, they use the same variables. But in case they do not, you can contact us and ask us to put it in and we will do it for you that will take time however okay uh, but the best way is to just select custom here and then you can specify your own uh, custom id okay so if this affiliate network or a third party affiliate software that you're using has got a new kind of sub id that we don't have okay okay just specify it all right, so new new, new sub ID, okay. So we put a new sub ID. Just specify what your custom sub ID is, okay, and then click Save Changes. Now let's go back to the link again, okay, and let's click on the affiliate product link. And so here you see that we use your custom sub ID as the, the sub ID format. So this will be the fastest way for you to do it. Uh, we can't cover every single platform out there. And I recommend just specifying your own sub ID if it's not in there. Um, okay, so now the second part of it. Now that you start passing all your TID or your tracking IDs into um, uh, onto your affiliate platforms tracking system and to the destination URL, what do you do? Okay, first of all, let me give you an example with JVZoo. So this is my JVZoo account. Okay, we're not really actively promoting a lot of affiliate stuff right now. There is some affiliate commissions. So you would go to affiliate uh, dashboard, okay, uh, to check how much commissions you made. Okay, and then you would go to this month, no, refresh, there it is. Okay, so you would see the, oops, no, you do not see the sub ID here. You would see the sub ID on the, under transactions, okay, affiliate, affiliate transactions. Okay, and let's select this month. Okay, so uh, here you have the TID. This is the format uh, used by JVZoo, okay, um, which is what we say here, JVZoo TID, okay, so make sure it's TID, okay, anyway, so here with TID, so every single sale that happened, we have the TID passed to JVZoo. Now, the thing with uh, JVZoo is that they have this bug in the system that many people have mentioned over and over, but they don't seem to be doing anything about it, is that the TID is only captured for the initial sale. Now, this is an, this is an upsell or one-time offer, and this is another upsell. But the TID is not captured for the upsells. It's only captured for the initial sale. So now that you know that, it will be safe to say that all three sales, okay, all three sales, these three sales are actually from this TID. And uh, this sale is from this TID. These two sales over here are from this TID. So, you know, this is a bug in JVZoo. I don't know why they don't seem to be doing anything about it. But now that you know, you can manually edit it. And how do you do that is you click on Excel. Okay, so let's click on this. Export this results as CSV file. And when you click on that, that will download 
your JVZoo transactions into Microsoft Excel. Let me open up Microsoft Excel, show you how it looks like. Okay, so here is the information here. Okay. Okay, you can edit that. So TID, now this is the unique click ID passed on by Shorty. So now that you know that this is the same TID, you can just copy that. Okay, some manual. Again, you know, this is only for JVZoo. If you're promoting ClickBank products or other affiliate networks, you may not run into the same issue here. Okay, you may want to okay, manually edit this information here. Okay, so now every single uh, sale has a TID. And this is quite quite natural, okay? It means that from a single click, from a single visitor, you have made three sales, okay? And we want that information that is so important information. You don't want two sales here to be not credited to any single click. Now that you have um, edited your, your CSV file, okay, what do you do next is you go to Shorty and you go to reports and obviously you don't see any reports here because uh, all the reports are in your affiliate network but you can click on import data okay and there are two ways to do it if you only have one conversion that you want to add you can just add in the date and time okay conversion name the goal type sale or lead the goal value over here so in in the in the example here the value will be the payout or this is actually what I earn as an affiliate it's not the sale amount okay and you would copy that um, and you will put it in here manually the reference ID it's up to you you can uh, get maybe let's see what can you get as the reference ID uh, okay okay the name you can copy the name of the product okay the name conversion name okay and the goal value you can put that in the reference ID oops the reference ID okay you can you know I don't know you can put whatever you want you know it's not really necessary uh, some some affiliate networks will give you a transaction ID if you have that then yes use transaction ID the rest as you can see is not unique so it's really no point of me putting it there it's optional you know so you don't have to do it and now the click tracking ID and this is the TID folks okay so this will be your click tracking ID in link tracker we call it click tracking ID here it's known as TID but this is the data that you need to copy and put it in here um, and, and and there's no point in me putting it here right now okay because this uh, TID was not generated by my WordPress uh, site or my installation of Shorty over here which is on just on a test site so the TID must be valid okay and, and if you do this and it will be valid in, in your case and then you can add a conversion manually so that's one way to do it the other way is to import the entire Excel file that I just showed you okay there are some instructions here uh, different affiliate networks use different formats etc so we have a format here okay and you can click on instructions we give you some instructions on how to uh, modify your Excel file before you upload it and you can even download a sample file over here that shows you the values okay so what's important here is the naming of the columns it has to be the same okay uh, okay so give you an example here okay the CTID so in JVZoo in the JVZoo format you will name this to CTID Okay, and let's go back to Shorty over here. So date, time, type. Okay, GV is gold value. Okay, so so what you have to do is you know you have to just change the column uh, title here instead of payout. You call it GV. Okay, and and you can do the rest and and stuff that we we don't need. Okay, you can delete it. So status completed. You know this is irrelevant to us. You can delete it. Uh, these two columns you know you can also delete it as well and 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 you just have to keep doing this uh, product name would be uh, 
goal name okay so you can change this to goal name gn okay and the date and time format as well just keep modifying it editing it then now select the correct date and time format okay that you have here because there are a few different date and time uh, formats select the correct time format as well 24 hours or 12 hours and and the way to to know that is if you see an am or pm here in the in the case here okay you do see an am and pm okay so it's 4 52 pm so that will mean that you would need to select the 12 hour format okay and then choose file so you uh, select your excel file or you select the uh, file that you've just downloaded from the jvzoo but let me okay save changes here okay and then choose the file okay choose the file and click on import file now the, the one that i have just imported here okay i did not um uh, do it properly but i just want to show you what happens in the next step so in the next step here you know you would see all the information that you have uploaded and we will show you which ones are valid and which ones are invalid okay and then if you're satisfied with the results you can click on confirm import or you can cancel import and try again so it's not you don't have to worry when you click upload there is an additional step where you can verify if it looks okay to you or not you can confirm or you can cancel import um, in either way if you have uploaded something that you feel is just not right okay you can go to reports here and you can click on conversions and everything that you have imported uh, you will see it here okay so you can you know view and edit and if you say oops i did not do this properly you can just click on delete delete and get rid of that conversion okay so this is a very straightforward simple way of tracking affiliate commissions but it works folks it works perfectly all the time because it is so simple and elegant it just requires uh, the ability for your affiliate networks to accept one small string of characters into their system, capture that and put it into the report. Now, if your affiliate network does not have any kind of feature for you to pass a TID or, or sub ID, you can ask them if they allow sub ID. And if they say no, then unfortunately, there's just no way for you to track uh, your conversions in that affiliate network unfortunately and you have to ask them hey you know why don't you guys buck up and you know add some features for us affiliates but you know in most cases most affiliate networks will allow you to do that again uh, we, we cover all the networks the major ones at least share sale has offers clickbank jvzoo uh, link share etc you know those I, I guess the majority of what you're doing would fall under those affiliate networks if you feel like um, there's you know some really major affiliate network and you wonder why didn't these guys actually you know add that in um, you can contact us again most in most cases they would most probably be using the same format with its tid sub id s1 s2 c1 c2 so we'll just add it to that list but anyway this is how you would um, track affiliate conversions affiliate sales in shorty import that data back and in your report you would see the conversion and you will be able to match that conversion to your links to your campaigns and any other information that we have here how awesome is that that's all for this video thank you for watching